That has some spice. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, he's a good one. Yes! Oh, yeah! My first one. All right, we made it to a beautiful location. I'm out in Idaho. I'm actually on the St. Joe, and it is gorgeous. I just can't believe the beautiful views out here. I brought the hot tent today because it's supposed to get kind of cold tonight. So right over here, I think is gonna be a good spot to, to set up our hot tent. I'm just not sure about the, uh, the stack. I'm gonna have to find a decent place. All right, let's get camp all set up.
How about those bed making skills, huh? <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm finally finished setting everything up. Anybody know if these guys are poisonous or, or what it is? <laughs> I think I'll take him out of camp. He's just a cute little feller. Oh, look at that. I've got firewood right here in this fire pit. Oh man, this campsite just keeps getting better. All right, let's go catch some fish. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go fishing. And all I've got is I've got this little uh, bubble here, float bubble. And then it is tied onto a leader. And I've got this little, I've got this little bug. Now I have no clue what they're eating out there. Um, this is really for fly fishing and I don't have a fly fishing rig, so I'm gonna try this and see if we can catch something, you guys. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's go see what we can do down here. First time ever fishing a little river like this. It's gonna be interesting. I know that that pool is there. It's really deep because the rushing water's coming from over here. So I'm hoping that maybe there's some fish holding up in here. I don't know. So I'll go up here, cast it, and let it go down and see what happens, I guess. Absolutely beautiful out here. All right. I don't know, you guys. We shall find out. All right, I'm gonna dunk you guys in real quick. Try not to get wet. You're going under. See you in a minute. Wow. All right, I'm changing it up. I'm gonna try this little caddis. I don't know, I picked it up at Walmart. I'm new to this, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> I've been really interested in uh, fly fishing. I just haven't got the setup yet. So I figured I'd try the bubble float and fly. I don't know. I don't even know if there's fish here. All right, here goes the caddis. We'll throw it upstream, float it down. Oh, and I cut him. Well, no surprise, I haven't caught a fish yet. <laughs> yet that is. 
I'm getting hungry though, so it's time for dinner. That's good. Wow, that's good. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you didn't know already, I'm making gumbo. Chicken, sausage, shrimp gumbo, that is. And we're gonna pair it with some rice. This stuff is, uh, it's the microwave kind, you know? <laughs> and I had an extra MRE packet heater, a flameless ration heater. So I'm just gonna shove that in there. What do you think, good idea, bad idea? I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. All right, says to fill to that line, in between this line. Woo, way too much. Just pour a little out. Oh boy, it's boiling. Ooh, that little thing got too far. Oh boy, I think I messed up. <laughs> Look at it. it's boiling. My little, uh, the little heater thing went too far down. Oh no, how do I fix that? I don't wanna burn myself. Oh boy, that's getting hot. Woo! Oh, I'm gonna dump the water out. We'll stop this action going on now. That got hot fast. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, saw a little otter over there. Scurrying along. Okay, we're doing it again. Just a little bit of water. <laughs> that didn't quite do it. A little more this time. Tad bit more. Okay, she's heating up again. Holy cow. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and pull this out of here. Oh yeah, that's nice and warm. It's actually pretty warm. All right, let's get this gumbo going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that smells so good. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this time. I thank you for the opportunity to come out here into this beautiful country, Lord, and, and see what you've created. Lord, there's some people on my mind right now that, that I've talked to, even through this 
YouTube thing. And Lord, I just want them to know that I am truly praying for them and uh, that uh, I lift them up to you. Lord, I just pray whatever it is that your will will be done in their lives. I thank you for the opportunity I have here to share these experiences with others. Once again, Lord, bless this food to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, dig in to some gumbo. <laughs> How many of you out there like gumbo? Maybe you like it without shrimp. Maybe you like it without chicken. I don't know. I like it this way because it's it's just good. It really is. Mm. It's got a good little spice to it. And uh, that sausage is great. And so is the shrimp. So I've been scouting out this area for quite a while now. I think I've been up here at least three times. And now I'm finally being able to make a video, but I've really wanted to fly fish. Like seriously, I've been just checking it out, researching it. Um, and this river here, there's actually, this isn't actually the big one. This is the, the North Fork, but it's supposed to be a really good fishery for, for trout, for cutthroat and everything. So hopefully tomorrow, maybe I can land one on the spinning rod, but I don't know. <laughs> I've got a couple of different flies with me. So we're, we're gonna try it at least. We'll try to land ourselves a big old trout. I don't really have high hopes of it though, but at least I'm doing it. So I'm not a resident here in Idaho. So I've actually bought three out of state fishing licenses in the last like, I don't know, month. <sighs> and this is the first time I fished. <laughs> Next year I'll get it for the whole year. It just makes sense. There's so much beautiful country up here to explore. So many places to fish, so many mountain lakes, all that stuff's coming. That has some spice. <laughs> I'm gonna have heartburn tonight. <laughs> it's actually getting pretty cold. I don't have my thermometer. It's in the tent. The last time I checked, it got down to 50. I'm sure it's below 50 now. Once that sun goes over those hills, and camping right next to the water, that's a good combination for cold. <laughs> All right, it's time to set up the trail cam. This is the Cam Park T86, I think, if anybody wants to know. And right here looks like a great spot. It's real close to the tent, which is right there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. See if we catch anything tonight. To be honest with you, I don't know that I really want to catch anything, but I mean, it depends on what it is, I guess. It could be some sort of small creature. <laughs> kind of pointing towards the tent and down here. I don't think it'll shoot that far, but... Oh, I gotta turn it on. Go ahead and turn this puppy on. Okay. We're set up. We'll take a look at it in the tent, see if we need to adjust it. All right, we're in the tent now, and it's time to start this fire. I've got uh, some little fire starters here. They were sent to me by Mark over at Backcountry Paddler. He sent me some of these fire starters and a little ferro rod. So we're gonna test it out. Woo! All right, if you haven't checked out his channel, you need to go check it out. All right, I think you just break these up, maybe. I've seen him do this before. There we go. Let's set it right there. See if we can't get a spark on her.
got it going. I'll throw that inside there. Give it some wood. That thing's cooking already. Nice fire going. That little uh, fire starter worked really well. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it, brother. Now I do have my carbon monoxide detector. Um, definitely, definitely want to run one of those when you're in a hot tent. <laughs> Last thing you want to happen is not to come out of your hot tent. Make sure you're safe. Properly ventilated. <laughs> Whew, man, that thing is, it's pushing heat already. Like, a lot of heat. Let's see what the temperature is already. We're sitting at 53 now, but this is up top of the tent, so maybe I'll take this down. All right, I'll just set it right here. This is kind of a, closer to my level, but it's climbing, definitely climbing. She's getting hot, hot real fast. Oh man, that's as hot as I've ever had it. I don't like that. I'm gonna turn her down a bit. Whew. Yeah, that's, that's getting hot. I've never seen it thread like that. I know that it happens and I've seen other people do it, but I don't know if it's if it's good. <laughs> titanium, it's all titanium and I think titanium has like a melting point of I don't know, it's ridiculous. Um I'll put it down below what it is, but it's very high. So I don't I don't think I'm going to melt it, but <laughs> when I see stuff burning red like that, I don't like it. All right, so I just closed the door. I had it open. Let's see how hot we can get this thing. <laughs> I'm in for a hurting, I think, because it's hot. It's really hot already. It says it's only 59 in here, but I just closed the door and it is pumping out the heat. Extremely, extremely well. I'll check back with you in a minute. I got it up to 93 in here. I, I just opened the door. Way too hot. Way too hot. It works great though, I'll tell you that. I can't wait for the snow to fall and then just crank this up. Ah, oh, it'll be nice, real nice. But I, I don't know what the outside temperature is. It's got to be below 50, um, maybe even 45 degrees right now. Um, but 92 is, <laughs> it's a sauna in here. Oh, I got to cool down. I definitely got to cool down. I really didn't use all that much wood either. So we'll have some wood for in the morning. That'll be nice. Well, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. I've gotta get some rest. I'm hoping to get up early tomorrow and uh, actually catch a fish. <laughs> That'd be awesome. It's something I've been wanting to do for a, quite a while. This place is beautiful and there's a lot to explore tomorrow. 
So I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. Huh. It got cold last night. I think it's in the 40s right now. 44. Um, and it definitely got cold. It had to have gotten below. I think it got below 40 last night. My sleeping bag did okay, but once that fire was out, <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> Uh, I didn't bring enough layers this time either because, I don't know, I just didn't think. But when you're up here in the mountains and you're by the river, definitely gets cold. Definitely gets cold. I didn't sleep all that great. I woke up a lot. Uh, I heard something scurrying around here. I think it was one of those little otters. But I don't think the trail cam caught it. So it's going to be an interesting day today. <laughs> We'll make the best of it. I need some energy though. So that means getting up, starting a fire, and making coffee.
Oh, this is a good way to start the morning. That water is just so clear, so pretty. If it was a nice hot summer day, 90 degrees out, I'd jump in it. But right now, <laughs> no. Oh, that wouldn't make for a good day. What a way to spend the morning. Out here drinking coffee, fishing. Couldn't be any better. Actually, I almost did it in my pajamas, but I didn't think you guys would appreciate that. So I had to change into my fancy clothes. This is vintage, actually. Sears and Roebuck. <laughs> Found it at my local thrift store. And it looks nice. Here's a tip for you guys, if you're looking for any outdoor clothes, things that uh, you know you're going to get destroyed, go to the thrift store. You'll find all types of stuff in there. I have no problem with that. I found some good gear for cheap. Oh, I forgot one thing, ketchup for my burrito. Cause I like ketchup on my burritos. <laughs> on my breakfast burrito. Mm. Sometimes I even do salsa, which is really good. Really good. This is a quick, easy scramble. It was something you could find in the freezer section. I think it's a uh, Jimmy Dean's or something like that. I like that. Nice, quick, easy. Drop it in the pan and you're ready to go. Or put it in a little tortilla. <laughs> So we're definitely gonna try some more fishing, but I think we're gonna move locations. Cause, well, either I just don't know what I'm doing or the fish are not here. <laughs> I like to think that the fish are not here, but I also know that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we'll pack up camp and then uh, see if we can find some fish. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on too long and unresolved questions hold you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on I'm driving in my 
my car, the road is long and full of dust. The landscape changes around me, on and on, I feel almost. So what we're driving on right now used to be an old railroad uh, bed. The train used to come through here. That's why you see all these really cool tunnels. I'm moving on. rigged up we're at a new location and we are gonna see what we can do I see a fly fisherman down that way so maybe that's a good indicator that uh, there's stuff around here but I don't know I don't know and I don't have waders or anything so I'm right here as far as I can cast <laughs> okay try not to die coming down the hill do I look like a fly fisherman? No, I didn't think so either. <laughs> so here's what I've got rigged up so far. I just saw a fish. I just saw a fish jump. Oh, well, let's go. We're going. I'll tell you about this in a minute. He was right out there, guys. So we'll... Oh, there's fish out here, guys. I've got a little zebra midge on. Just a little guy. Let's see if we can catch one. I saw him. I saw him go for it. Man, they're hard to see. I look like a cutthroat. All right, I was just using the zebra midge. Uh, I might have to retie something else, but right now I have a, a woolly bugger. I don't know. I'm just playing around. I'm just playing around. I see them, and they've got me super excited. <laughs> I lost my woolly bugger. All right, changing it up. Got a caddis here. I don't know. I'm seeing them fly around. So maybe that's it. Oh my goodness. They're right here. Why won't you eat my food? Oh, where, oh, where can the fishies be? They all swim upstream away from me. I've got a beta hook and catch them for good. Oh, okay. I got one, guys. So I can feed my belly tonight. Come on, you guys. Yes. Oh, he's a good one. Oh no, I'm caught underneath. Oh, he's good. He's good. <sighs> Whew. Come on, buddy. Come on in. I don't want to horse him too much. Guys, 
Guys, I caught one. Holy cow. Oh, he's a good one. Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, man. Oh, my first one. Oh. Oh, look at that guy. Come here, mister. I'll unhook you. There you go. Oh. Look at that beautiful cutthroat, you guys. Beautiful. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> wow. Such a pretty fish. Look at that thing. We did it. We caught one. <laughs> Well guys, that's all she wrote. It's all the fishing I can do. I'm out of batteries and I'm out of memory. Time to head on home. Oh. Look both ways. Clear. All right, so I've got a long drive ahead of me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, new videos every weekend. But if you can't wait, go ahead and click here and watch another. God bless everybody.